Boom, baby. Mr. Remo Demo with the calls. Look at that altar of storm. It's gonna rain crits, everybody. Blade Master, it is. There was a little development on the ladder recently where Lin is starting to play Shadowhunter first versus Undead again. And I thought, ah, maybe there's a 2% chance that focuses in on the hype train as Lin played this pretty successfully. But no, Blade it is. And I want to double down on what you said. If you bring in any spell or ability that it has a certain random factor, Happy can't deal with that too easy. And of course, crit is one of these uh, random abilities, doesn't proc all the time. And now Focus's goal is pimp that blade, get them levels up, and give me that big red numbers. Yeah, Blade Master starting off with a fast chop, fast tech, no barracks for a long time. Although he probably has to go for one still later. Uh, mouse, mouse, mouse with the reset. Thank you very much. This is kind of like old school ladder play. Level 1 Blade Master Harass with sh with items early to heal and be annoying, slow down the undead, and most importantly, steal last hits. Happy's top number one priority here for the early game is to not give last hits away. And for that reason, maybe a bit of a mistake to not get a dust. Happy saved the gold on that. Okay, probably did not expect that, but the first coil goes to the Emperor. No steal in that regard. But change of plans pretty much immediately. We got a circlet on focus. Blade Master already respectable and Happy is far outside the map. Time for the Blade Master to chase and do some damage. Yeah, pretty decent start for the Blade Master so far. He is slowing down the DK's progress. That's always the big concern. If you don't slow down the undead and he hits level 3 easily by the time tier 2 rolls around with lots of mana, then that hand cannon, aka the coil, can really make your life difficult. Happy scouting the main. Ooh, actually, is skipping the barracks. So, no grunts, no Shadowhunter creeping. This might be... Blade Master into Wyvern, I guess. Ooh. Okay, interesting choice. Uh, Focus is pulling the creeps together here, attacking the ghouls now, which are creeping at the same time. That's the first kill, but goes to the account of creeps. Last hit battle, backstab item on the account of Focus. And I'd say I've seen worse orc openings. And the DK, I guess he's going to get level 2, or at least close to it. This was also a smart move by Happy, being in two places at the same time, punishing the weakness of this opening, which is you don't have wolves, you can't split your forces, there's only one blade. Taking two camps at the same time. Very smart indeed, and so Happy is going to get his level 2 at long last. Blade Master, can he make it here just in time to steal this one? No. So that's level 2 DK and the ever important aura. We got an information by Razor Moon. Nice last hit again. Um, this recent series between Happy and Focus is 26 to 0. Every Who streak defeats is, is, is seven is, times in a row. Yeah, every streak is bound to break at some point. Is uh, right. Must be Focus's mindset here. So, glass and half this full. Is the big one. Exactly. This is the big one. This is 18k on the line, and what a time to defeat Happy if not here. 40 did it in Dubai. Maybe Focus does it here in the Don't Force, force Me force Cup. We have double beastery into tier three with the Shadow Hunter third. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I've seen this strat rarely uh, lately. Uh, the point being here that the late game mass wyvern can still be good. If you get ahead, you can expand pretty easily with the uh, tiny great hall access. Um, and of course, the blade master plus shadowhunter will be a much stronger combo than the farseer shadowhunter into the late game. But he can't harass at the start so well. As we pointed out before, no wolves and such. So Happy keeps on creeping. And if he gets this camp, will be level 3. So Happy, as basically always, finds his pound of flesh. He gets the Lich. Wonder if it's Frost Armor or Nova. I guess both would be good. But in Happy's hands, it's always about damage. It's always about nuke. So Nova should be selected. DK makes it to level 3. E yep, even the last hit here. Can't prevent that. Another ghoul falling. This is not the first one. Wonder what's the ripple effect on those losses. Yeah, it was two ghouls going down total, which is a bit annoying maybe. Oh, looking for a third with a speed scroll, but that one is also saved. But he has a shadow, and that should be the third ghoul kill here then. This is not bad at all by focus. Also, he drained lots of mana out of the DK. And so these three ghouls going down especially makes his heroes more survivable in the later fights. 
but perhaps Happy doesn't care so much because the ghouls will be not relevant against the wyvern, which are coming and which he does know about. Did scout that before. And once the wyvern are out, Focus can finally also begin to cre start creeping quickly. The answer to wyvern and Happy side is gargoyles and an early sacrificial pit. So shades on the map, gargs in the air. That's a lot of scouting and Happy will be able to gather a lot of information and convert that into timings, I guess. And now, time for creeping. It is only with the skeleton. Okay, Colonel Nova salvages this. Lake Master has triple circled, by the way. Wait, did he creep one of these? No, right, he bought all of them. Wow, that is very expensive. <laughs> oh, triple circled, okay. I well, mean, we told him to pimp his blade. Yeah, they are good items. And the great thing about circles is also, if you get better items later and you want to pass them away from the blade, they're also good on every hero. So indeed, circlet is always a solid item. And I think we should be expecting a TC third, right? Oh, but the burrow's late. Oh, focus with a huge oh. macro mistake. Oh man, that costs him a minute on the TC. Oh, maybe he can shift some timings around, like. And Venom Spears early, tiny early, but he's also super broke. Yo, that's not good at all. He just bought a fourth circlet, dude. Four yeah, circlets purchased. I've never seen that before. The Warcraft version of forehead? Maybe? Focus Giga Brain. Hopefully. Well, I guess he was supply box, so he had some gold to spare. Um, yep. Four circuits purchased, dude. Stats master. Stats man, like Bruno. He was super hurt. Happy also with a passive approach. Lion horns, Toby Mask on his side, level two with Frost Armor. Makes it quite hard to nuke the undeads then. Frenzy is coming, and the destroyer push is coming. You know what that means. And focus, are you ready with your hurt? Level three, two heroes, and only a handful of wyvern, and no TC? Yeah, exactly. He didn't go for the TC. Perhaps that was the plan all along, or maybe he just decided for it now since it was rather late. Focus, getting some great items here. Ruined Bracers. Oh my god, those are so good for the blade. Gives them over right away. Still lacking the level 3 shadow though, but he's gonna get it here at long last. Happy, by the way, also got great items for himself. Some HP to buff up the Lich. Soby Mask, of course, amazing. The armor as well. And it's a Dark Ranger third, by the way. Against the Blade Master and his. Critical strike damage potential. Happy doesn't want to go for an alchemist, which he cannot call. That's right. Usually in this matchup, third hero is always the alchemist. Focus with some great evasion creeping, by the way. Not going clockwise. Saves his own lab for later. Same goes for the natural expansion on the left-hand side. But they went for mercenary into lab. Also no red spot approach. And Happy couldn't really find him here. That's one acolyte down. That's two acolytes down. Still no TP, though. A little risque. Happy makes it home now, but there was a very successful little attack here by Focus. Takes out the Acolytes, forces the TP, lots of gold working out in his favor. And Happy will have to make some towers if he wants to be safe against that. Again, that is expensive. So Focus getting hit economically. How much gold does he have? 600 more or less already, which would be enough in theory for a tiny Great Hall. But normally you want to make sure you have a big lead before you go for that. Going for Liquid Fire. Cool, oh, I guess. It is interesting that Happy built a shade early on, but still can't read the movement of focus on the map. Granted, it's a big map, but with the legal map hack unit of undead, you should be able to... And now things get scary. Speed scroll, perfect moment. Lich too far behind, can't reach with the Nova. And that's another good disengagement for focus so far. Gonna get away. Happy's buying the time to secure his base perhaps a bit more. He's going for a second shade, by the way. Really wants to have all-knowing information, omnipotence, I mean, uh, omniscience, rather, out on the map. And Focus is saving up gold. Yeah, in our old Warcraft world, nobody is omnipotent anymore. Used to be only Mad Frog, right? <laughs> of course, he, pro he probably still is. Happy is going for towers now. They're about to be ready. 
but there is a little spot where the Wyvern can still do damage right here behind the gold mine. Happy didn't make a ziggurat behind the Acolytes, which is pretty fashionable nowadays. We've been seeing it from lots of undeads. That is, I think, the first real mistake by Happy. When you realize it's Mass Wyvern coming, there should be one ziggurat behind the Haunted, which you can upgrade, because that is now going to be a headache, possibly, for a long time to come. No Aspirin inside. We get uh, Defend upgrades for the units. I like that against Wyvern. We also get the third attack upgrade on Wyvern. Jeez, that's pretty crazy. Alongside... Oh, are we caught? A Ring of Protection plus five. Zeppelin. Little scary. But okay, we're evacuating. Happy 12 minutes defense mode. Yeah, he's really pinned in here. Great contain play by Focus. Ideally, with the play like this, you would love to have an expansion somewhere on the map as well. But there was no time to creep that. There was no time to go for that. But there has been time to get ahead with gold more and more. And now a big item on the island. Can be a dud or can be something amazing. And it is the Scroll of Restoration. That's pretty sweet. It's like a heal scroll, but also mana in build. So it's uh, pretty, pretty nice, even though you don't have casters. The scales, of course, more units have mana. Happy on the other side, red spot, left hand side. Staff <laughs> of Silence. Dude, Happy's items are also pretty crazy, gotta say. Mm -hmm. And now we see the drop into the main base. The liquid fire nowadays doesn't prevent repair, but it reduces repair. And that one spirit tower should be going down. Happy TPing on home. And of course, a counter TP. Don't want to lose Zeppelin again above the trees. We saw that yesterday. And one bad rider connects. Still a favorable trade, I believe, for focus. I agree. Happy is also more or less supply blocked. Can go up to 50 again. Higher. And the value of focus's units is constantly rising. And now the big advantage of going for this weird creep route in the middle the lab next to his base is still up his expansion is still up also on the right hand side he has some easy creep spots belt of giant strength for more hp always good against the undead nuke and look at you we got a tiny great hall but happy is moving towards focuses half of the map red spot merc and then attack another zeppelin i love this he's going for the tiny Ooh. on the island where Happy's gonna have a really difficult time getting to. Happy is scouting everywhere. Does he have three shades? He has three shades, ladies and gentlemen. One with his own army to spot the Blade Master and two out on the map. But guess what? The shades can't fly. They can't get to the island. So Focus is gonna get his second base here established. Really cool play by Focus. All right, item now. Can't click on it. Stone token. Pretty good. You're lacking the stun. And it's double disable now alongside Hex. And wait. Can the stone golem be silenced? No, I would say. No, magic mune. There we go. Yeah. It's a really, really good item unit. Um, if it stays alive. Might be hard to stay alive though against the ghouls on the ground. Happy has been finding sick items, by the way. So we mask the uh, lion horn, the staff of silence. Now also a cat gas gem to keep the lich healthy. Also, a uh, parry up on the Dark Ranger to make her harder to kill. Happy has been getting, like, close to hand-picked items. He's just a little bit on the damage side. A little low on the damage side. Well, but for that, we have Coil Nova to fix that. Everybody knows. Second defend upgrade coming. No attack upgrade, which is interesting. Second Sobe Second mask Sobe on mask that did. as well. <laughs> what are these items? Casino Warcraft, man. Dark Ranger is somewhat close to level 3. The Dark Ranger is the one strategic choice that I'm not quite sure about if she's the perfect. Um, Alchemist, of course, in danger of getting cut down by the blade. But the Black Arrow won't do anything. And the Silence can only really hit the Shadowhunter. Yeah. But I guess she's a decent right clicker in the end. Maybe. But I think Focus is in a good spot here. Huge supply lead. I would love to see... A torrent totem for spirit link. Yes, there's destroyers to dispel it, but still so much value. Also pretty decent against ghouls on the ground. But Happy is expanding in the north. We don't have a torrent totem yet and probably won't see them later. Shop is down, but the tiny was already used. 
might hurt focus in the mana department after the fight. First nuke, first kill. Only one bad rider here. It's down to the Wyvern to do the damage. And of course the Blade Master with level 3 critical strike. Bat connects the first one. Gargoyle out of the air. DK ultra hurt. Going for the town fork. That's a swift defense for focus. Hell yeah, the Blade Master is online, baby. He's level 5. He's got great damage. Only thing missing is a Kodo Beast. Perhaps those should be added in next. But this blade is a big, big danger. Happy, I think he didn't use his uh, silence abilities too well, right? Like, normally you should be spam silencing this Shadowhunter all the time to limit the heal wave, especially. Blade Master out of the shadows again, hoping for some crits, hoping for some purges. And he's finding some kills. We're happy down to 43, but we've been in these situations before. We need Frost Armor. Here comes the Stone Token. Where's the Boulder? Oh, dodges with the Invo Potion. Happy Glorious once again. But that means only 7 seconds safety, and then the hunt for the Lich is on. In his own base now, Focus. Feeling incredibly confident. Destroyer might be taken out, but it's all about the heroes, isn't it? Dark Ranger next on the menu. Lich Invo will be out now. Focus Fire might be shifting, and then what? Gargoyle, number one priority. Scroll of Restoration. Oh, this was so good. The Stone Golem is still there. Going for the DK. Hex is gone. Crit! Town portal into his own base. Oh, happy struggling. DK almost dead. Stone Token as well. The DK is gonna fall. And Focus about to do it. About to kill everything. And Happy has to tap out. Focus takes the first map after defeating also Lawlight earlier. Focus looking absolutely on fire right now. 26 game loss streak. Is today the day? That was incredibly dominant. That was, uh. Everything went in Focus's favor despite the burrow being so late. Yeah, I wonder I, if. It... I gotta say, I'm a little stunned here. Yeah, this was really well done. Um, I wonder if this. I wonder if he would have gone for the TC. Had he not uh, had the burrow so late. The blade wouldn't have been level 5 then. But he would have had aura. He would have had stomp. That's also, you know, very strong additions to the arsenal. Yeah, the blade master. If he has a good game. If he gets to the late game. He can't be relied upon. Super smart play. Got ahead economically oftentimes. Happy made one mistake with the uh, spirit tower. Especially in the back of the base. Not being there. And then going to the island. Getting the tiny great hall up there. After having gotten the gold lead. Beautiful play by Focus. Playing this map really well. Playing the blade master really well. Um... I said this before and I think it's still true. I think this map has to be vetoed by Undeads. Twisted Meadows is by far the best Blade Master map. And especially for Happy, Blade Master is the biggest threat that he can face. Um, I think Happy made a mistake here, leaving this map in the pool. But well done by Focus. Excellent. Excellent execution. I'm really impressed. That's how you have to play against Happy, you know, flawlessly. Um, but that is Twisted Meadows come and gone. There will not be such a good Blade Master map again. Yeah, I gotta say, this map pool is a bit weird. We have uh, Echo Isles in the mix as well, Lost Temple, Terrana Stand, Turtle Rock. Makes the veto process a bit harder because Happy is always and ever, until the end of time, gonna ban Terrana Stand unless it's forced on him for like $200 or something. Uh, so yeah, you don't have infinite vetoes and twisted. Pretty perfect. Happy has a 0% win rate in this tournament now. Imagine if Happy goes zero six, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All the betting sites are gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> Wouldn't be the worst, except Bad Boom, of course, if they do more Warcraft tournaments. Oh boy, I'm hyped. I knew this day would be hype, but opening it up with a nice back and forth between Lawlight and Focus as a warm up, and now Focus with an exclamation mark. Quite on fire recently. Yeah, absolutely. Focus has been looking. In great, great shape. And of course, if he beats Happy here, he is through out of the groups already. Well, at least into the tiebreaker. He might end up in a weird tiebreaker position uh, if the map score is looking not in his favor. But he will dodge fourth place, certainly, if he gets two wins. And yeah, what a start it is. Different map, though, and a very different strat. We're going to see a Farseer now. Um, I think Focus knows that the Farseer, of course, you know, with his own strengths, he's not going to have the same power as the Blade late game. But this is a map where you have to play him. There's no island expansions here. There's no mass creeping here. There's no easy level 5 blade master here. There's not even easy wyvern harass, I would say, here. So this has to be a different kind of a game. And this favors happy way more.
the late game is going to be in his favor. He's going to have an Alchemist third, most likely. And Happy knows if he plays a very clean game, he oftentimes, more often than not, can rely on his late game. Yeah, this um, is going to be a bit problematic, but it's also Happy's loser's choice. So Focus can relax a little bit and see how things work. Uh, so in defeated Happy on Hammerfall already once. So it is possible with the Wyvern play, but I think also only with the Wyvern play. And if Happy knows what you're doing, he has the perfect answer ready. Like we've seen that before. Um, the early game is very decisive. How good can Happy creep and how many ghouls can you take out? Here's the poison camp with the Hydra, but Happy's already done it. I don't think the wolf's faster combo can do a lot, you know. And mainly intending to slow down the Death Knight. I think this is uh, one of the few weaknesses that Happy has shown, especially in this matchup. Early game wise, is his creep routes. I feel like other undeads, 1 to 0, for example, prioritize level 2 more. And I think that's the right thing to do. That aura just changes so much. Happy has oftentimes been more focused on getting circlets, getting items, neglecting level 2 sometimes. But it seems like now he's going for a middle of the road kind of approach. He wants to get the claws from the middle, but then will try to prioritize level 2 here at the next green camp. Oh, misclick on the coil, loses a ghoul. Happy with the next mistake. Ooh. Okay, Claw Slippers, not too shabby, that coil hits, and the Fastia is also a little bit hurt here, might be willing to trade the Town Portal, because Coil is up, oh, 7 HP above the threshold, can't reach the Spite Aura, good retreat by Focus, and Wolves are still hunting. The Narrow Tower a little bit late, but no kills being found by the Wolves, just a little bit of lost mining time. The tech perhaps a little bit faster for Happy because of the lack of the Nerob. Tech, of course, greatly in favor of the Orc here. Tier 2 is reached, Shadowhunter coming second, Double B Siri and Tier 3 will be next. Orange89, thank you for the sub. Amazing content as always, never stop, guys. Greetings from the Ruhrgebiet. Thank you, Orend, which is our 1600th subscriber today. Woo! It's pretty sick. Now I got the Ruhrgebiet song stuck in my head. Thanks. By the way, after yesterday's cast, <laughs> I watched multiple videos of best of Markus Rühl. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so funny. I get it now. I, I get what the hype is about. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I have some catching up to do later, I guess. Muss nicht schmecken, muss wirken. Yeah, I can, I, I, can, I can see that being quite humorous. Won't reach the levels of the Prezi, I guess, but getting close. I can only be one Prezi. DK though, level 3. Happy seems to be having a very good early game here. Was able to move from camp to camp, but now he's facing the Shadow Hunter. So there's also some kill opportunities for focus. Last hit goes to Happy here as well. Man, he's got some good items. Glitch will appreciate. Emperor's Revenge could have hexed the DK, maybe, but then do you have enough damage output to kill the Sasquatch? Questionable-ish. This has to work. Like, he has to get something done here. Unfortunately, Happy also has some coils left. Still lets the ghoul down. Maybe for... no. Just for later. Okay, so semi-successful. It is Wyvern once again. I think this was pretty clear. Tier 3 halfway done as well. So a good lead in the tech department for Focus, but Happy is uh, miles ahead in levels. Hey, by the way, again, not prioritizing a Ziggurat behind the uh, gold mine. He could still make one. He's at 40 supply Ziggurats right now. And yeah, I think there really has to be one nowadays. Just having one spirit tower there makes the harass for the orc way, way more difficult. And it doesn't really cost too much effort. Let's see if that will be a problem later if we get to it. Focus now utilizing the hex creeping, something that he sort of pioneered and perfected. Especially on maps like Concealed Hill, going for the red camps. Here it's a bit difficult, uh, more difficult with getting, you know, big permanent items. No ogre lords here. And I wonder if he's gonna Players sell some of these items. For Soen, I don't know if you've seen Soen's games lately against Undead, but he's hilarious, dude. He sells every single item he finds, everyone, <laughs> just to get more gold and build as many wyvern as he possibly can. 
So I said this this week, I think. I've heard rumors that someone was experimenting with uh, machine learning Warcraft AI. And that machine learning computer was also constantly selling items from what I've heard. Rumors. Interesting. But maybe someone is a robot. Dude, I would love to see like an insane AI, like a deep mind AI playing Warcraft, trying to min-max everything. It would be so interesting. Yeah. So what I heard is they always sell the items and they always go for Alchemist first. <laughs> Undead with Alchemist first. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's some improvements to be done. I mean, little sample size maybe, yeah. some lessons you know, to learn. But when I, when, I hear, when I hear that, I'm not so afraid of Skynet just yet. <laughs> right? Like, um, this, this could be complete bullshit, by the way, but... Uh, yeah, some so, someone told me something. All right, focus with the first aggressive maneuver. He's looking for a bit of acolyte fun again. By the way, Happy did make a uh, ziggurat in the back of the base. I think the positioning is still not quite perfect, but it will help. And now here in the tier two stage, the hex against the gargoyles very effective, but the coil nova, of course, is ready. Oh, and he catches a wyvern, and I guess that's a kill. It? Nice heal wave though. Focus with the save and we might have an answer to the question of Twisted. Focus is still not going for a TC. One wire caught with the coil. Okay. We do have the alchemist and another bat down. This game is not going as flawlessly as Twisted was. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Happy here on his map choice is looking much, much better. And he will be getting stronger and stronger with the triple hero. Yeah, with the fast here into shadow, I think orcs never really play TC third because they need all the wyvern they can get for damage. But when you have a blade master, you get all the damage already. You just want some more stun and aura, oftentimes. But uh, yeah, this is very, very timing dependent, very momentum dependent, and focus has lost all the momentum pretty much. He doesn't have the level threes. He doesn't have mana. He needs to go back. Needs to heal. Needs to clarity. Needs to level up. Needs to get more wyvern. So many things he needs, and happy has time very much on his side. Shadowhunter in jeopardy, very low health, no speed scroll no more. Double invo potion, of course, lovely to have. But apart from that, it's not looking great. Bad. Nuked again. The value of the bats really not shining through this game. Focus has to lick his wounds and that's pretty much complete map control for Happy. Yeah, and he would gladly use that to... Not forced to fight, not be too overzealous, but just creep. If happy levels highly enough, it almost doesn't matter in what, in what position focus is. This tri hero combo is insanely good late game if they get the levels and items against the Mass Wyvern playstyle. Happy has level 4 DK already. Lich and Alchemist also close to leveling up. And this game is honestly looking perfect for the end. Yeah, focus needs to play, but it's hard to create plays against happy when you only have one. Disable and you don't really have the levels. 2 0 attack upgrades is nice, but Happy is oh actually not too prepared for this run by. This is Focus's chance now. This strike has to hurt. And it doesn't. The speed scroll and the bats. Maybe can get some easy kills on the gargs. No, not even really trying for it. Happy. Of course with the TP easily. That puts an end to this threat. Could again go for towers. If you have a bunch of towers in the main, the wyvern don't even really uh, end up being that scary anymore. Focus needs to level more. Level 3 Shadow Hunter is the bare minimum. But honestly, level 4s, level 5s is what he will soon need. And Happy's again on his heels. But you mentioned it before, no big creep spots here. On Twisted, he was able to take a vacation to the islands. Impossible, Acid Bomb, Coil, Nova, oi, Mass Murder, Happy is in his element now. Yeah, absolutely, they're just gonna get level 3, that's a big level up there as well. With great items already. Only thing missing now is level 3 Alchemist, and then Happy is gonna be cruising. And if he ever gets to DK5, that is normally when the game is kind of over. A lot of prioritization of... Uh, armor upgrades, again, similar to Twisted, where it didn't really shine through. But it's just so much value you get against Gargs, against the Wyvern focus. Uh, appreciate that. It's also not too expensive, so yeah, why not? 
Oh, we still managed to get lots of gold, by the way. If you can go a get a tiny and force Happy back, maybe there is a way. Right now he's got a decently sized army, but really, with Wyvern, fishing supply is not enough. You need kind of more to quickly snipe targets and also to have some left in the end, because you know the nukes are gonna collect, connect, like we see right here. Nova hitting the Wyvern hurts right away. Sp heal scrolls will be needed to get them back to health. And everything is stacking up on those Wyvern. Couple of guys go down, but the Wyvern will fall as well. And if it's only heroes left in the end, the Undead will easily win. Yo, he got two heal scrolls, but never used any of them. Destroyer Micro is crisp air army by focus in shambles. Just a couple of bones on the ground. Now it's a hero arena around the shop. Focus is able to evacuate to a degree. But damage is done. Focus somehow has a supply lead. Might have gotten a Destro or two on the way out. Ooh, they're also hurt, dude. Thanks to the Envenom Spears. One HP destroyer, one HP destroyer, and one at 50%. So happy losing a bit of map control with how hurt his units are. Got to get a few kills though. The Alchemist is now level three. The DK is four and a half. Destroyers are slowly, passively healing back home on Blight, and there's still a bit more experience Happy can pick up here and there, equipping himself with a few more circlets, I guess. He's got Invuls as well. Ankh, heroes are protected. Focus is still staring down the barrel. Okay. Um. How do you fix this, man? How do you fix this against Happy? I, I guess you have to force him into a fight in your base where the Burrows are helping, but Happy's not going for that. It's a mission impossible. Yeah, with bad riders, there's always a glimmer of hope. If you have a bunch of bats and you're chasing the undead around, he's running away, you the hex, you make things complicated. You can hope that maybe Happy makes a mistake, stacks up his air units, and the bats get a glorious hallelujah connection. But you have to hope for a mistake like that at this point. Yeah, and um, Happy will be 0-3 in a bit. And how good are bats against 0-3? Yeah, indeed, their value will be dropping off more and more. But uh, if you hit six units at the same time, they're still pretty good. But that <laughs> to happen is, of course, rather on the unlikely side. Ah, uh, okay. Focus seems a bit hopeless. There's no experience to be gained on the bottom left-hand side. Supply is relatively even. Invo potions on happy to keep the hero safe. No playmaker items on focus. And yeah, Happy's ready to brawl. Alchemist is zooming. Meow. And gets off the acid bomb, trying to split. Kind of. Didn't exactly work Did out. Yeah, and then I love the frost armor on the Garks as well, man. They have 12 armor. That's <laughs> sick. Yeah, Bad Riders are impossible to play now. Yeah. The armor mechanic, also a big reason why Under would be favored later on. If you had the resources, if you had the time, those upgrades are amazing. And of course, primarily the hero levels. Going for the DK now, hoping for the play, hoping to find the vulnerability in Happy's army. There's no bats left, only the Wyvern. AoE coming in against them, but also the heal scrolls and heal wave trying to keep them alive. But you can see, oh, the Wyvern are going down quick. So does the Destroyer though, the coil there a little bit too late. Both players losing units pretty quickly. Happy has almost only Destroyers left, Destros against Wyvern. On paper, that should be better for the Wyvern, but of course the Undead Heroes here are really what's carrying the late game. And that is enough kills now for DK level 5. He's got the Bazooka now mounted on his shoulder with the level 3 coil. But when the story goes down, Hex could be critical. Happy must be aware. Yeah, and he's going for the invo right away before the Destroyer goes down. Happy playing it safe, getting more kills. But tell you what, Focus got a lot of kills right here indeed. But so did Happy. Yeah, it was way closer than expected! And here's the coil, no invul anymore. Focus making this closer than one could anticipate, and that on Happy's map choice. All right, good try, but the harass didn't work, the levels didn't take off, and then the late game just looks like it's looking here. But that was the undead map. That was the happy map. And now I'm curious what Focus picked, because it looked so one-sided in Focus's favor on Twisted already, and that was the neutral playground. So what map is better than 
what we've seen on Twisted already and can Happy change something and take the W here now? Yeah, I'm also going to be interested to find out. I would love to see Lost Temple, but I'm pretty sure Focus vetoed it. We have yet to see this map, by the way. Not a single game has been played on LT yet. Uh, I hope Sad. we're going to get the pleasure at some point. Maybe in an Undead versus Human game, perhaps, or in a mirror match. Um, we'll see about that. But yeah, coming back to the map, uh, I mentioned it before. I think Twisted Meadows is just straight up the best map for Orc in this matchup. Like, even, even with all vetoes in play, I think Twisted is the best map. Which is why I think Happy should start vetoing Twisted. Uh, but yeah, that one is out. I think the best chance still to beat Happy pretty much always is play a blade, play him really well, make zero mistakes. Which is, of course, easily said, very difficult to do. But if you can do that, then you can keep up with Happy in the late game. Here we saw, you know, the Farseer, Wyvern, and Shadowhunter play. It can be really good. But at some point, you need to get ahead. At some point, you need to put the boot on the undead, get ahead, get some kills, and ideally get like a tiny Great Hall. Um... But Happy rarely allows this. That's why I think Happy is extremely difficult to beat with that style. I would love to see Focus go back to a Blade Master now if he trusts his mechanics. We have the Decider map up. And Mr. Remo Demo, do you like turtles? I like turtles. Do you like rocks? Yes, unless they're in my shoe. <laughs> well, then I got the perfect map for you. TR is the decider. Happy one, focus one. We have cross position here. And a biggish map with the expansion capabilities. How can you creep here? How can you dodge your opponents? What's the items gonna be? What is your prioritization on items? Are you going for consumables? Are you going for permanent items? What's the creep route? What's the attack? And how well are Wyvern working here? Let's decide this, man. Focus has the chance right here, right now, going 2-0 in the group and qualify for at least the tiebreaker. Or Happy gets the back-to-back -back win. We'll see about that. Hype for map three. Yeah, Turtle Rock, back in the day, used to be considered a pretty good Blade Master map because there's lots of claws you can go for, some slippers if you're lucky, and with the grunts you can creep very well the turtles and red camp spawning position. But that seems to have shifted over the years. Turns out that the Undead here in the early game can creep very well with the ghouls, get level 2 basically instantly, move on to level 3, get a bunch of items, and then be really dangerous with an early level 3. So nowadays most orcs seem to feel that Farseer is the preferred style, and it's also Focus's decision which he's going to feel more comfortable with early and mid-game, but as we see, we'll have the downside late game. And I think this is what Happy prefers to see. He's feeling confident against Farseer. He knows how to deal with it. He's going to be able to rely on the Alchemist third because it's almost certainly going to be Wyvern again. And Happy is playing the same opening once more. Ghoul opening, DK Ghouls, so versatile, no reason to move away from it. There we go. It's, of course, easy-ish to creep with the Farseer here if you get the levels. Turtles with medium armor, wolves with normal attack. That is kinda nice. Same can be said about ghouls, skeletons, and with coil, of course, you can always creep quite nicely. How much damage can the Farseer do? I feel like on both maps, he wasn't really able to um, delay level 3 DK for a long time. Maybe three times the charm. Happy so far gets full experience. I think it's the right opening for Focus here to be aggressive right away. Because uh, if the Death Knight gets the double greens, that is two items and level two. This is the wonderful opening that Undeads love to go for on this map. By the way, we see a slight adjustment by Happy. He went for a Ziggurat way in the back of the base right away. Wants to be ready for Wyvern instantly this game, which we all are pretty much expecting. We see the tier two tech starting for Happy. Of course, Focus already well on his way. Yeah, and... Wyvern are kind of good here on this map, I feel, because of the because they're flying. There's so much terrain, like the forest in the middle, that you can just surpass. While ground units, of course, have to walk all the way around. So some potential for Focus to outmaneuver his opponent. Last hit. Didn't get it. Happy always so good with those. Happy almost a bit greedy, using none of the coils here for the last. It's really trusting in his timing and right clicks. And that works out. Now he's level 2 DK, got full XP and full mana. This is a very good start for Happy. Would love to continue on now, creep up more camps, pick up more items, and get that level 3. 
the wake of the match against 120. How good is Happy on this map? Fasia keeps good track of what Happy is doing. We see quite an aggressive movement, aren't we? Into focus base already. I think it's just trying to keep these camps away, especially these green camps with the ghouls. Medium armor. Very easy to take. Would love to find some mantles. Ideally. Uh, hasn't been blessed with those yet. Not too much bonus damage yet here on Happy. I think the wolves finally got the first last hit. Or was it just skellies? I'm not sure. But as it stands, Farseer is still very low experience. And the DK can just go over to the next green and creep this one as well. Happy has collected a good number of items. But finally the Shadow Hunter is coming. And with the Shadow Hunter, there's going to be some map control going back Focus away. Yeah, Focus got one creep, one of the hatchlings. Fasia has 32 XP. And the next chance now. 700 gold still, a little bit of lumber issues after taking to tier 3 and going for everything he needs. One last hit would be grand. Doesn't get it, man. Happy is the absolute king in last hitting creeps. Nobody's even close. A player's forces are under and now the Shadow Hunter play. Fasia didn't get much done, to be honest. Yeah, Happy also sees exactly when the Shadow is coming out, so he knows when he has to retreat. And the previous two maps, Happy, both times, lost two ghouls in the early. This time, seems like he's going to be able to save all of them. And that is the ideal scenario when you're waiting for the frenzy timing. Happy was a bit unlucky with the items. Didn't get Mantle. Um, only really got the Ring of Superiority, which he kept from the first four camps. But there's still plenty of camps and plenty of items to find on this map. Well, Remo, you know there's four big turtles on this map, and they all drop big consumables. And this is happy. So, fast forward 10 minutes, he's gonna have four big mana potions. Yeah, with the ghouls as well, you can creep those really quickly, especially the smaller uh, giant turtles, as they are ironically called. Focus wants to get something done now as well. He's got the hex, he's ready to take out some ghouls, and one, well, I believe he should certainly get. Stutter stepping is good. DK only getting some right clicks in, but of course the denied. Feels like this is a different happy than on Twisted Meadows. Like things are working out really, really well, but Wyvern Edition, the first two are here, increasing the damage by a lot. Yeah, Focus did man one thing really well, and that was prevent level three DK. Also comes down to the map. The other is going to be very incentivized to creep all the green cans because it's so easy with the ghouls. All the other ones are much harder, and those give you a bunch of small items, but not that much XP. Thinking back to the previous map, Happy was able to get bigger camps more easily, and it was level 3 way sooner. And now it's only level 1 coil. The Lich doesn't get healed for that much, and Focus here has a good timing early on tier 2. I agree. The wolf block didn't necessarily work too well, but draining another coil, only one is available for the time being. Shadowhunter and Farsi are of course super low level, but there will be a time in the match where creeping will be prioritized. This might start now. Stealing an item away, Gloves of Haze. Good. And yeah, with these Wyvern, I said it, man, there's so much terrain where ground units can't even go. Focus has a chance to do damage here. Yeah, Happy is uh, lurking around the outskirts of Focus is creeping, would love to steal something or kill something with Coil Nova, but he knows it might be wiser to wait for tier 3. And that is now finished. Frenzy will start, he's got the orb already, but Focus of course also got his upgrades. And Venom Spears is up, and we got Bats joining. Against the Gargs. Tier 3 online for Happy, is it an alchemist once again? We certainly think so. Focus finds the Ring of Protection. One of the better items you can find, I guess. Of course, you always want damage, but this kind of counters the Orb of Corruption. And Focus has his eye on the prize. That is the rat spot, but Happy in somewhat punching distance? I think it should perhaps be the other way around. Happy's gonna get level 3 here. Happy's gonna get a Frenzy upgrading here. Maybe Focus should have fought earlier, but he wants to get this Ogre Lord and get it he will. With the Hex also. I mean, Focus' mana is low, his levels are low. He's not going to be incentivized too much to fight. But perhaps that could have been an opportunity. He gets the big item, Medallion of Courage. That is pretty good, I would say. But now Happy's online. Finally, he's got level 3. Finally, he's got Frenzy. And Alchemist third. To that, Destroyer is up as well. No level 3 here. Cool save to the back. That's nice. Bad taken out. Uh-oh. Town portal in your own front yard. That's not too great. 
Ghoul falls, but Focus has to lick his wound. Such a decisive moment in the game. That's the red spot for Happy here. Uh, one of his favorites. Oftentimes creeps it early, especially in mirror matches with Cannibalize. Now he doesn't even need it. Item. Ring of the Arch Magi. Not too bad. Not too great. And Focus. You have some catching up to do when it comes to levels. Yeah, double level threes are really, really important. He needs to get there as quickly as he can. With the Wyvern damage output, that should be doable if he's got a bit more time. Gonna big, get a, get a, sorry. Gonna get a big consumable here as well. And those can help a lot if it's the right one. Scroll of the Beast. Ooh, great in theory if there's no dispel. Well, could argue that there's limited dispel and you also have to get rid of Hex and Wolves. Connection done, but there's the first dispel. Now on cooldown for a while. Happy. Can't go for his own consumable just yet. Any last hitters? Oh, that turtle does focus a favor here. That's an easy kill on the retreat. Happy wants to try to throw in an acid bomb at least. Oh, nice hex preventing the steal there with the Nova. That's double level three. Could be a great time for focus to fight right now. He doesn't have heal scrolls, but he has double scroll of the beast. Not the perfect item perhaps against the destroyers. I mean, there's two Scrolls of the Beast and only one Destroyer. You could just pop it again. And Scroll of the Beast on Wyvern is insane. So plus 10, plus 12 damage. Oh, Fasia, no way. Made it to the shop, through the back line. In will potion immediately, but he got that heal scroll, which he needs against this acid pump that's constantly ticking down your Wyvern on top of Nova, of course. A good game so far for Focus. He has managed to slow down Happy a lot. The hero levels on the other side are still weak. 3-2-1. Not impressive. But if all these undead heroes get one more level up, it's going to be a way different story. Focus wants to keep on the pressure. Doesn't want to give Happy time to freely develop on these heroes, especially also on armor upgrades, of course, which will be getting better. Oh, big acid bomb, Ooh. though. Hits Ooh, all of the But the bat, the bat also. Oh, can it connect? No, armor upgrade was only one. The turtles don't really obey Happy. Still a solid chance for Focus to grab at least the item, if not both the item and the speed. Acid Bomb again ticking down. We have a heal scroll. Bad connect on the guard. Oh, Nova gets the last hit. Item though. Big mana potion. Of course, the one in front of Happy's face is a big mana potion. Big fight. Scroll of the Beast. It is huge damage. Dispelled once. And Focus is retreating for now. Didn't get the opening he wanted, but he does get shop control with 500 gold in the bank. No heal scroll purchased. These heal scrolls, of course, absolutely crucial. And... We got the Great Hall expansion coming. Not as a tiny, but as a standard one. Takes a little bit more than two minutes. But Happy has to lick his wounds here. He's super hurt on the destroyers. He needs some mana potions, probably. Even a ritual dagger to heal up his units. That's a map control for focus. Got the level 3 3 up. Next uh, pit stop is level 2 chain lightning, of course. Happy eyes on the rat spot, but they will meet here. Focus could also go to the left hand side shop and then that rat spot. I feel like. He got somewhat map control, can be decisive if he wants to be aggressive or not. He doesn't have a town portal though. Oh, focus. Almost with the perfect time for the creep check, just a little bit too late. Lit not level 3 yet, by the way. Happy is still lacking these levels. Mana potion ready on the Death Knight. He's gonna have to use it soon. Even the one of mana ceiling here being used. Lich now out of mana. Focus with a good play so far. Okay, is that too greedy though? Lich 2.9, one kill. Is that level three? DK almost out of mana. Didn't f has a potion, so two more. But this is all time where Focus's expansion is growing, and Happy has an idea. Sends him the ghoul, but Focus is ready. Shuts the door. Only one ghoul available, but there's a Buru already to protect the Great Hall. Yeah, if Focus can hold the expansion here, this might be his ticket to victory, and he's going into upkeep. Focus, with a decent chance to finally end this loss streak. One of mana sitting right before the coil. Nicely done. That one prevented. But there's still a mana potion on the Death Knight. Also a pendant. Oh, Shadowhunter. In a rough spot here, but doesn't get punished by the nuke. Not just yet, at least. Heal scroll, mana potion available. We're chasing potion pop, but for nothing. And Focus's win condition is up. Question is, for how long? Happy's going all in. Six to supply. Here we go. This fight might decide the game. Can't focus hold. He needs healing. The Shadowhunter is tasked with that. Of course. 
He's got the heal wave, he's got the heal scroll. Colinova flies right away. As a bomb a little late to the party. There it is. Nope, never mind, that was just a right click. The Wyvern's still fairly healthy. Boro trying to hold for now. The repair is on. Very important here to have reinforced. Oh man. What a situation here. Focus supply lead. Echo lead was also harassing with the wolves in the main. Happy was on two screens the entire time. Two ghouls already down. Limits the abilities to kick buildings, of course, without the normal damage. Still big mana potions. Still the heal scroll. Instant reinforcements. We need some happy magic to salvage the situation. Focus is hoping for more production time. Supply is fairly even. Two more cools being sniped. Here come the band riders, but they're calling nobody right away. There's no one cooldown. Lich in trouble. Serious trouble right away. Trying to pass an item TP, it has to be. Mm -hmm. And with that, the Lich survives, but Focus holds at the expansion, got more kills, and the supply is still in the orc's favor. Yeah, this was also a big destroyer morph. So the mana is ticking down now. And destroyers without mana, we say it over and over again, are really not that good. Happy has to invest into a mana potion once more to keep up the momentum. Or the pressure at least, but that is 150 gold that can't be used to build new units. And Happy's at 50, focus on two bases. In that triangle there on the bottom left hand side, there's also still three creep spots that he can get, plus the shop. If focus doesn't make a crucial mistake, he can take this map home. And that heroes are getting stronger though. The DK is about to be four, the alchemist is about to be three. Don't sleep on these undead heroes, they could take over later. Burrow being taken out. The repair is a bit too late. Peons, a little late to the party. Double level four on the orc heroes. It still has mana potions and a heal scroll. Going for the DK right away. Lots of damage onto him. Bad riders connecting. Don't quite get the kill. The destroyer must go down next. The coil is here. Still falls though. The wyvern goes down and it's double level up for Happy. Focus chasing after DK, trying to get this kill. Happy's instantly ready with the Hex, though. Focus with tunnel vision might yeah. be going for the wrong targets. Oh, ghouls out of the equation. Focus lost more than 10 supply. Wyvern falling. The damage mitigation is sick. DK is back in the fight. There was a moment where he had to go to the right-hand side. He has, he has no items anymore. We have a lot of chain lightning left. Maybe a chance there, but the nuke is, of course, on him. Oh, Focus. Did you just throw away your lead? Or can you salvage this somehow? Coil, Nova, right clicks, peons all down. Oh, he saw the opportunity there on the DK, but Happy's always so fast on the trigger with a dispel. The Death Knight is a tanky hero, even without rings. Focus here with a big miscalculation. If he just, just goes for one destroyer after the next, he probably kills them all. But the question is, would he have been able to win then the fight after the destroyers are gone? Hard call to make, but of course, if the hero kill fails like that, it's clear to see that that was not the right thing to do. And now we got level 2 Acid Bomb. Wyvern getting poked at all the time, losing HP, and now Happy finally has the levels. 4-3-3, three, three. this is where the ended heroes start taking off, but the mana is still low. They're not at full capacity by any means. Acid Bomb over and over and over. Focus, what's the target? You need to repair this Great Hall as well. Focus fire on the Shadow Hunter. Big Mana is gone as well, by the way. No consumables for the Korean no more. And I got a feeling that a hero is bound to die. Sick on these Wyvern. Oh my god. Heal wave immediately against it, but Garks are still up. Happy found the solution again. There's no hero kill possible. Wyvern can't be part of that fight no more. They're all way too hurt. Happy just waiting for a Nova and now slaughtering peons once again since there was no repair. There's no chance to hold this and on one base, one base. What are the win rates for orcs in that regard? Happy might have weathered the storm. Oh man, Focus, he played such a good early game at mid game. He got nicely ahead this game. The expansion timing also seemed to be brilliant. He got so close, so damn close. But now Happy's got the heroes. He's got what he needs. Focus has to hope for a misstep now. He has to hope to find the DK sleeping, get a hero kill somewhere, but Happy's waiting for it. He's got the invul locked and loaded, pops it here before anything too dangerous happens, killing more Wyvern in the process. Let's level 4, and the game is over. This was the closest that Focus has come to beating Happy in a long, long time. But the streak is still on. 27-0 and 0 now for Happy.
Yep, that's better than The Undertaker was at WrestleMania. Uh, I can't help but feel that this was absolutely winnable. Happy going for a timing that Focus maybe did not expect or definitely wasn't ready for. And then this Tunnel Vision Hail Mary Hero Focus. A crucial mistake in hindsight. Of course, if it works, we're sitting here praising him. Like, how did he see that opening? It was so yeah. good. But no, that, that wasn't the play, man. That wasn't.